Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to test if the new trend of the lifted feather brow is worth a try. And we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow, brow Freeze, freeze. Style wax, wax to demo that. Before we start diving into the product, make sure if you like my content, Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification button so you'll be notified whenever I post a new weekly video. And don't forget to follow my social media. All links will be down below in the description box as well as the information of the product and similar videos as usual. Also, there's a new feature. There's time stamps down below too. So you can make sure to go to the part of this video that you are most interested in. In. I have to admit I'm a little bit late to this trend. It's probably been already there for a year almost. All of the famous makeup artists nowadays do the lifted brow looks. So I'm a little bit late to the trend there but I am proud of that because let's be honest we have to be thoughtful. You can't just jump on all the new trends out there that might not be suitable for you personally. So Applause for me for being thoughtful. But here I am one year later after the trend started as usual. I've been using it for a week now, but I'm still learning how to do it. So it's going to be an interesting experience. And of course, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm not a makeup artist, so please forgive me. It retails for 23 US dollars for 0.28 ounces or 8 grams of product and there's only one shade. This is an easy to use styling wax that lifts, tames, and sculpts every hair with extreme hold. It's free of parabens, cruelty free, sets every brow hair in place without a stiff feeling, residue, or flaking for the feather looking brow you have always wanted. Universal, easy to use formula, mess free, provides long lasting, extreme hold, leaving you with full body brows that last all day. Sounds like magic in a jar to me. It has an expiration date of six months only, so it's quite short. I guess it's because it's kind of a jar and inside you open it, it's just clear. It looks just like glue or like hair wax. But I think that's why the expiration date is a little bit shorter because when it exposed to air like this, the product inside will dry out just like a gel liner. But there is a tip that I want to show you. When you store this kind of a product, make sure you store it instead of like this, store it upside down. Storing it like this will make the product last longer. You're welcome. I have the spatula, is that what it's called? A spoolie, I mean. And I bend it a little bit because it's easier to get to the brow. They recommend to have a spoolie on one side and a spatula in the other side. But I have my finger, so I don't need to buy a spatula. You know what I mean? Put in a little bit of the product. I'm going to swirl it a little bit on the lid to distribute some of the excess product and to blend it a little bit more on the spoolie. What you are supposed to do to lift the brow up. A lot of people have some problem with this product uh, being flaky. It leaves white residue. We'll see if that happens today. If you have a spatula or your finger, you press it in place. Now, I don't know what kind of brows this product is made for, but my brows are very thick and they're straight. So they're pretty tricky to work with. It's hard to move them around. Yeah, I can already see the white flakes Forming. I don't know how to prevent that when you like kind of brush it up quickly and then don't touch it again that can that might be able to prevent the white flakes but I don't see how I can have enough time so <laughs> this is the best I can do this is the side with the wax you can see it's slightly brush up they do look the brows hair the brow hair does look really nice and organized this side is there's nothing on. I've been having this problem, not sure if you can see, but the white flakes are here to stay. 
they are not invited to the party but they're here far away like this it looks amazing but when you zoom in the white flakes are crazy let me fill in my other brow and then we'll come back and talk and spill some tea in the final thought section so there it is this is the full brow application on my straight thick difficult to move asian brows as you can see the brow gel doesn't really keep my brow where i want them to be my brow was like this and i want them to be like this but no it can only be only be like this the more time goes by the more they will just return back to their original state it's not the amount of product that i use because i know the more product i use on the brows the more white flakes it will create and you already see with the little amount of product i use there are already white flakes everywhere it might not be obvious on camera there are so many white flakes like tan drop on your hair you know and that's not a good look also the lasting power is not the best it lasted maybe six hours maximum and that is when I'm extremely, extremely careful not to touch anything, not to go into the wind. I was staying home most of the day that day when I tested it. It never dries up. It stayed sticky like that um, for the rest of the wear. So with this product, I like the idea. This is the conclusion, by the way. Let's get serious. I like the idea. I think it's a fun trend. I'm not sure how people do it. I'm pretty sure I research all the step with the spoolie on one side and pushing it on the other side with spatula on my finger. I honestly don't see a difference between the finger and the spatula, so I don't think I make a mistake there. Maybe it's just my brows are too thick and too straight to deal with. And it's just not for me, maybe. I will use it once in a while, but probably I will not reach for it much. That's it for this video. I hope it helps you decide whether or not you would like to dive into the feather lift up brow trend. And I hope it helps you a little bit in the application so that you know how to work this kind of product because it's a little bit tricky if you don't know. And I hope it helps you to see the result and how it actually looks like. I'm not blaming the product not having good quality. I'm just blaming my brows for not being able to work with anything. <laughs> if you know how to make this product work, please make sure to let me know in the comment section. I would like to try it out again and make it work and I will sure report back to you. When that happens, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this great video with your friends. I will see you in my next one. Until next time, don't flop.